Hello everyone, my name is John Bossart. I'm an HPE Business Transformation Center Engineer for Ingram Micro. I help support servers, blade systems, storage, as well as networking technology solutions from HPE. In my videos, what I like to do is show you a slide from a popular PowerPoint, and then demonstrate to you what that means with a management interface. Today we're going to continue on our discussion with HPE's Aruba Instant On series of technologies. Right, these access points are certainly directed toward the SMB segment or the small and medium business segment. And they're really meant for users of, of wireless technology in a simple and easy to use fashion. So they're looking for networks with 100 or less users, um, around 10 access points clustered together. Um, it certainly can go higher up to 25 access points. So certainly this product is priced accordingly for the SMB segment. I would say another value add to this technology is to be able to have flexible management options. It's really meant for users with no or, or little IT staff. Um, there are two different ways you can manage this device, certainly through a mobile app on your favorite mobile device, Android or Apple device. Um, there's also a cloud-based portal that you can manage this solution. And you're actually free to go between these two technologies. So you can configure a wireless network in one and move to the other to manage it, um, and vice versa if you wanted to. All right, another thing that's it's nice to note is the cloud-based portal doesn't necessarily have any subscription license, so buying the product you get free access to this configuration tool. In this video, what I'm going to do is actually um, show you uh, management within the cloud-based portal, and I'm actually going to compare that to the mobile applications and show you this, the similarities between these two technologies. They look, they look very similar. I'm not saying that everything's exactly the same. Um, but if you've managed in one, it's easy to transfer that knowledge to the, to the cloud-based portal. All right. um, I, I did create a video on the mobile application. If you haven't seen it, it might be helpful to go back and, and take a look at it. Look at it. Um, I'm trying to do this video where you don't necessarily need to go back and look at that. But if you find yourself stuck in any ways, um, it might be helpful to go back and look at, look at that video. So with all that being said, let's kind of explore the cloud-based portal. Okay, so here's the cloud-based portal. We can see that it has a similar look and feel to what we've seen on the mobile application, and I have a view into that over here, so we can see it's, it's very similar to what we see. If I dig into these these uh, these squares, for example, we'll go into the networking square. We can see the two networks that I've configured before. Again, if we go into the mobile app, we dig in again, we can see these two networks here. Um, if I expand one of these networks, we can see all my configuration options here. Okay. The same thing is true within the mobile app. So um, if I go inside that again, I can see all the configuration options here. It's easy to add another network, so I'll click Add. And we'll do an Ingram Micro Business Transformation Center new. We'll give it a password. And then we'll click Save. And now we can see that we have a new network set up here. If I go into the mobile application, you can see now that I have three networks set up. And I can go in and actually see that additional network down below. All right, and then to get rid of this network, all I'd want to do is select that, and click delete, All right? And I could have up to eight SSIDs in it with this technology. All right. And again, if we look over here, we can see I only have two networks available. All right. So let's go back to the tiles. Next, we could look at um, the clients, and I only have one connected, and that's that's this guy here. All right. It's kind of rolling through some of my videos. All right. And I could expand that out get information on this client, get a nice categories menu, what people are doing, so we're streaming media. On the mobile app, we'll dig into that. There is my, um, my client, click on the client, get a little bit more information, and I get a more detailed kind of pie chart, and just kind of dig in here, and it'll give it to me in that fashion. Okay. Next, we'll explore the applications. 
right? Where we can see what's being used or what's been downloaded. Right? And we can expand that out. We can see what networks are using what information or what, what's being downloaded, what type of category is being downloaded. In the um, mobile app, we'll select over here. Right? And again, we can get a breakdown of that. And I can, this is a little bit different, so I can break it down by individual SSIDs. I felt like it. Right. Next, we'll look at the inventory, and this is actually the access point. You see, I have this one access point configured, and this is what we configured last time. Right. If I want to set a static um, IP address, I do that over here inside the mobile app. We could do the same thing, and there's my one access point. You can dig into that. We get great information. If I want to uh, configure a static um, IP address, I would do that up here. So what I'm going to do in this video um, is I'm going to add another access point um, and show you how that's done. Um, before I do that, let me show you the onboarding of a new um, environment. So if you were going to uh, configure a, a new site um, through the web-based portal, um, you know, kind of from, from, from defaults, from factory defaults to say. Um, it's the same look and feel as if you're adding a, a, a secondary site or a new site. So we'll click New Site. I'm going to click continue on this. I'm going to give it a name, network password. Again, this is the SSID that will be associated to the site. All right, and then what I'll do, do is uh, um, search or discover my serial number. And then after that, it's just a country as well as a it's, um, noting that, you, that you're ready to be able to deploy this. So it's a pretty simple solution. Um, what we're going to do is actually um, add a new access point. So let's go back over here. And there's a couple different ways that you can do that. So I can go over here and select Add New Devices. All right, and that'll bring me to this context. Or I could go down here and then select Add New Device. You can do that. And in the mobile app, that's the same idea. I can go over here and select Add New Device. All right, or I could go down here and then click the plus sign and then add a new device. That's the same idea. All right, so let's go to the process of onboarding another ac uh, access point, and this will, will cluster itself together with the existing access point that I have. So let's go around and search for this new access point. There it goes, you can see, you can find it. Um, I've kind of blocked out the serial number there, so my apologies. So let's add this device. All right, and then let's click Finish. Now we can see this device is synchronizing. Expand it on out. We get some information about this access point. Right, and again, in the mobile app, we can see now I have two access points as well. We can dig into that. We can see that it's synchronizing. Right, now to remove the access point, all I do, need to do is select it, open it up, Go over here and then remove from inventory. And it'll set it to factory defaults and then you could bring it anywhere, set it up on a new site if you wanted to. Let's do that. All right, now we can see we only have one access point. Again, if we go back to the main menu, we'll see that we have one access point. And again, inside the mobile app, we only have one access point as well. All right, so that's managing the Aruba Instant On solution through the cloud-based portal as well as comparing it to the mobile application. As you can see, they're pretty similar um, technologies. You can move between them whenever you want. Again, there isn't any subscription fee you need to have in order to be able to manage it in the cloud. Um, so with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please stay tuned for more videos.